You clicked on this video so you could learn how to go for clips like this with Neon. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how. I also have a Neon Mannequin, so I would say I'm the guy you should learn from. Before we get started, I have more of a basic Neon tutorial in the description if you're more of a beginner because this video is going to be a little bit more advanced than the last one. So if you are new, I'd recommend going and watching that video and then coming back to this one. Also, other Neon mains like Grumpy have made really good Neon tutorials, so I'm going to put his video in the description as well. I also have a Discord if you have any questions about Neon and I have a community of people that would be happy to help you. Now that we got that out of the way, let's start the video. This video will be structured into five parts. Movement, Neon Tech, Utility, Comms, and Awareness. A lot of people know how to do Neon Movement, but how do you actually use it effectively? One of the number one things I like to do is backsliding. The reason backsliding is so good is that the enemy team just does not expect you to slide backwards most of the time. So it's a lot easier to catch them off guard. Take this clip as an example. As you can see right there, I hit the backslide and I get the kill. Now, how do you backslide? All you have to do is run forward, rise on the side backwards, tap S and slide. It takes a little bit of timing to get used to, but once you get it down, it'll be so easy. Learning how to use Neon's backslide effectively will make you a lot better at Neon. If your rank is below Radiant, you'll play at least two to three comp games a day and you've been struggling to rank up, our sponsor today has a crazy offer for you. The Immortal Roadmap Program will teach and help you implement everything you need to hit Immortal Plus in eight weeks. They're so confident in their coaching that they're the only live premium coaching program that offers a five division rank up in eight weeks guarantee or your money back. They've helped hundreds of students at Immortal and Radiant and their coaching staff consists of Compeki and over a dozen Radiant coaches with a VCT experience such as Comet who is an analyst on Ascend the year they won champs in 2021, Screwface who is a sixth man on EG when they won champions in 2023, and Gangsta who played on Disguised, Immortals, and Knights. If that offer sounds good to you, the first 15 people that sign up with them will receive additional one-on-ones. Thank you to the Immortal Roadmap Program for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the tutorial. As you guys know, Icebox got added back to Valorant, so I'm going to go over some things that is exclusive to Icebox. A fun little challenge is actually you can jump from this window right here onto Boiler. Go, go, go. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you can make that jump. Another hard jump to help you practice your neon movement is jumping from here onto the rope. It may seem useless to do those jumps, but the more you do jumps like that, the more mechanically skilled you'll get with Neon and the more you understand how Neon Almost works. Down. You might have noticed that I press control a lot when I'm doing Neon movement. Now, the reason I do that is just out of habit, but there is actually some uses for it. When jumping on some boxes, pressing control while you're in the air gives you that little bit of extra height to keep your momentum. If you were to jump onto screens without pressing control while you're mid-air, you'll lose all your momentum. Go. As you can see, I just completely stop. But if you press control while you're midair, you keep your momentum. Go, go, go. I'm out of here. Another part of Neon's movement is rope movement. Now, as long as you use scroll to jump, rope movement is really easy. Because all you have to do to get off the rope is just scroll. So it's a lot of just spamming your interact button and scroll wheel. This is just another one of those things that you'll get better at over time and you just gotta put the time in to get better. It's kind of hard for me to explain Neon Movement because to be honest, I'd just be jumping around and I don't even know what I'd be doing half the time. So if you guys have any questions about Neon Movement, feel free to drop some comments down below and I'll reply to some. And you guys can join my Discord at discord.gg slash timmit if you guys have any other questions about movement. Alright, now it's time to go over Neon Tech. What? You can get up that? To be able to slide up this little slope, all you have to do is run into this corner, tap crouch so that you're up a little bit. And once you're in this corner, you need to pull out your sprint and then hold W and A and slide at the same time. Go, go, go. And just like that, you can do it. It may be a little tricky to get the timing down, go, go, but go. just know that you need to slide as fast as possible and you hold W and A. Next cool thing you can do with Neon Tech is these rotating doors. And actually with the new update, they actually made doors go even slower, which makes this tech even better. It's really easy to do this. All you have to do is run up against the wall while holding a directional key. And just like that, you'll gain speed. Another cool jump that is now possible with the new Lotus update is that you can jump from right here onto this box. I'm out of here. As you know in the buy phase you can slide around as much as you want, but if you wait until the countdown is at 0 seconds and slide, you can get an extra slide. I'm gonna do a double slide, watch this. <laughs> Most of you probably already know this, but if you use your normal slide and then pop your ult, you get another slide. 
And lastly, there's some neon tech you can do on split. With this box right here, you can actually slide up in the air. All you have to do is stand on this box and then backwards slide into this corner. And then the other cool thing you can do on split is with the ropes. I also made an aim labs playlist for neon mains. I personally use this playlist before I get on and I think it's a good warm up for me. Some of the scenarios I have on there are just for fun because to be honest aim training is pretty boring but I definitely think it's worth checking out. The link to the playlist will be in the description. Now it's time to go over utility. Neon's kit isn't the best as far as utility, but there's some creative ways to make it work well. Here are some good Neon stun lineups. A lot of people like to just throw up Neon's wall, but to be honest, that's pretty ineffective. Because if you just throw up your wall without thinking, the enemy can easily just hide behind it. So if you do use Neon's wall, try and make sure you use it in a useful way. Neon's utility also works best when you combo that with movement, such as jump peeking while using your utility and also using movement while using your utility. Now it's time to go over comms. No one, you want to blind this? There. Going for plays with your team is key to your success. It is so important to communicate if you play Neon, especially with your initiators. Neon is such a fast duelist and if you combine that with your teammates utility, you will have so much more impact in your games. A lot of people aren't used to playing with Neons, so you need to tell your teammates what you want. And don't be afraid to go for risky plays because that is what Neon is all about. You just need to communicate with your team and have them help you. Now it's time to go over awareness, which combines everything you learned so far. Being able to understand timing is important so you can use Neon speed to your advantage. Oh, dude! Knowing where the enemy is and what they are planning will let you put yourself in the best situation possible. Something I also did in that clip is what I like to call spotting. Now, what is spotting? Spotting is a lot like jump peeking, but I think it's kind of like the neon version. It's the same concept as a normal jump peek, but you also combine it with a slide. The reason that spotting is so good is that not only do you get free information, they don't expect you to be wide swinging after you jump peek. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you at least learned something. You guys could also watch me live at twitch.tv and you could learn some of the small things I do to be good at Neon.